Today we're gonna paint my least favorite X-Man. Wolverine is such a jerk. Hi guys, Jonathan from Two Raven Studios. I do painting videos, model reviews, and general gaming content. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of that. What we're gonna do today is paint Wolverine from Marvel Crisis Protocol. This one's been a long time coming because I've been busy the past few weeks and haven't had time to paint. But the poll I put up, which was over a month ago now, I asked you if you wanted the yellow costume or the brown costume. You guys voted for the yellow costume, so that's what we're going to paint today. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than what I normally do. I'm not going to use the airbrush and I'm not going to use oil paints. I'm just going to go standard acrylic, so it's something that should be easy to follow for everyone. So let's grab our brush and hop right into the painting. So we're going to start with Magenta by Pro Acryl, and we're going to do some pre-shading for the yellow with this pink color. If you watched my Sabertooth video, I did something similar. So we're just doing it by a brush. We're painting on this color and then trying to sort of blend it out into the surrounding areas to give us a smooth transition. Once we put the yellow over top this color, it's going to give us some nice deep shadows. The more time you spend with this, the better final result you're going to get but just take your time and just darken down all of the shadowed areas. I should have spent more time blending, but you can learn from my mistakes and do it yourself. Next up, we're just gonna use Transparent Yellow, again by Monument Hobbies, and just paint all the yellow areas in. And you can see how the yellow goes are over top the pink color and gives us some nice shading. So just nice and easy, paint all the yellow parts. I'm going to base coat all the other areas, starting out with the blue areas, Paint it with Pro Curl Blue. So the shoulder pads, the boots, the gloves. Next up, we're going to paint the belt red. And we have all the traditional primary colors here. Didn't realize that's what Wolverine's costume was until I started painting this. Next up, we're going to go with black. We're using coal black from Pro Curl. We're going to paint the little head pieces. I don't even know what to call them. As well as the details on the costume and the belt buckle. I'm also going to paint the tops of the boots and a stripe down the front. The stripe down the front is not sculpted on, but the traditional costume has it, so I'm going to paint it in. And now we're going to base coat the flesh areas. I'm going to use Midland Flesh, this time from P3. I just like this color more than the Pro Acryl base flesh tone, but you can use any color you want here. Just any normal basic flesh color. I'm going to tone down those flesh colors with some thin down Volupis Pink Citadel Contrast Paint. Try to keep this just on the skin areas and don't let it flow anywhere else. It's thinned down with a little bit of water just so it's a little less strong and trying to cover all of these areas. Now we're just going to brighten up all the flesh again with the same Midland Flesh color, leaving that wash in the recessed areas. Next up, we're going to further highlight by mixing some pale pink from Pro Acryl into our Midland Flesh. And just focus on smaller areas and give us some nice highlights. When you do highlights, you don't want to completely cover the previous area. You're going to cover less surface area. And kind of give it transition from that dark to the light. You always want to pull the brush stroke so the end of the brush stroke is where the brightest area is going to be. 
And next up, we're going to have just straight pale pink and repeat that process one more time over an even smaller area. We really want these highlights to pop to give the skin some nice detail. It's really well sculpted. We just need to bring that detail of the sculpt out with the paint. Next, we're going back to the yellow costume with golden yellow. And what I'm doing with this is helping blend in the initial undercoat that I did into the surrounding areas because as I said I didn't spend enough time making it as smooth as I should so this is helping smooth it out. This color is almost the same as the color that's already on the costume. Again we're just smoothing things out a little bit here and again you want to pull your brush towards where you want the paint the brightest. And next I'm going to mix some pale yellow in with that golden yellow and add some highlights here and there. You want to kind of be a little bit understated with the highlights because if we do too much highlighting here it's actually going to look too faded out which we don't want. We want that bright vibrant yellow color. We just want to add a little bit of pop here and there of a highlight. So just around the tops of the muscles that sort of thing. Now we're going to highlight the black areas and I'm going to use dark neutral gray to start out. So just kind of going along the ridge of the headpiece as well as the tops of all the parts of the body, the details of the costume. This color is kind of subtle and it's hard to see the highlights, but we want to keep it looking nice and dark and black anyway. So next up I'm going to add some bright neutral gray into that as the camera wants to focus on my hand. But I'm just again going along the tops of the parts that are black to try to add a little bit of highlight to them. And the one part I didn't do yet is the claws. We're starting a base coat of dark neutral gray and dark gray blue. This is going to be very similar to what I did on the Magneto Constructs. If you watch that video, how I painted the metal. So we just want a solid base coat here. Next, I'm going to mix some gray blue in with my previous mix and blend out some highlights towards the edge of the claws. And then I'm going to put some pure gray blue on the very tips of the claws. And then try to blend the two together again using the mixture. You can go back and forth until you're happy here. So for my next step I have a mix of gray blue with titanium white and I'm just trying to use the edge of the brush along the sharp edges of the claws to give me some fine highlights. You can repeat this process of pure white if you would like. So now let's get some details going on the belt. We're going to start with Flesh Terra Red Contrast Paint to shade it down because I started with a very, very bright color. So you want to add some shadows into it with this contrast paint. I'm not slathering it all over. I'm focusing where I want the paint to be. And now we're going to go back in with the Bold Pyro Red that I based it with and just do some highlights. So along the top of the belt, along the little belt buckle clip things that are there. Just give it some nice little highlights here and there. Next up we're going to mix some pale pink in with that previous color and again go around the edge and do some nice highlights here and there. You want to kind of be subtle with this. We don't want the belt looking pink. We just want to add some highlights to the top of it. Once you're happy with that, you can take some pure pale pink and just refine those highlights even a little bit more. And lastly, we need to work on the blue. So we're going to start with some thin down Talisar blue contrast to shade down those blue areas. Help bring out all the little details and crevices and between the fingers and that sort of thing, the details on the boots. And then we're going to go back in with the blue that we base coated it with and add some highlights in. This is very similar to what we did to all the other areas. 
We shade it down and then we're going to add a little bit of highlights using the original base color. You really want to focus on the hands because it's one of the focal points of this miniature. The face and the hands are very apparent, especially because of the claws, so take your time with it. And lastly, we're going to mix some sky blue in with that blue paint and refine those highlights even more. Same steps we've done on all the other parts, we're just repeating this now on the blue with these colors. If you want to further refine it, you can use some sky blue by itself afterwards. Once we complete this, the miniature is done. I didn't paint the base in this video, but it's the same as all my other ones. Just watch one of my other Crisis Protocol painting videos and the base was done the same way. Here's the finished product. It's a pretty quick paint job. And again, I didn't go fancy with the oils or the airbrush or anything. I just used standard brush and acrylic paints. I use Pro Acryl, but you can use any colors that you have. Pretty happy with how this turned out for such a quick paint job. These Crisis Protocol miniatures are really fun to paint with the bright, vibrant colors on them. I hope you guys found that useful. If you did, I'd appreciate a like. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any future content. We painted the yellow Wolverine today because that's what's won the poll. But as a very wise young girl once said, ¿Por qué no los dos? I painted the brown one too. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out next time as we paint this version. But until then, keep on gaming and paint your minis.